what is going on everyone um, today we are going to be doing lesson three which is transitions and for this one I decided to make a video for you guys so that those of you that are a little bit better can follow along and I can spend my time helping out those out that need some extra time um, so again let's not forget the most important thing with Adobe Premiere is making sure that your files are saved correctly or organized correctly you don't want to run into any issues so if you have lesson three uh, when you download it from the link you might actually see something like this right where it shows you all this so you're gonna go ahead and click here and just click download that's gonna go ahead and download right here and if you're in Adobe Premiere I mean sorry if you're in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge you might see it up here at the top or down here at the bottom this is where mine is so I'm just gonna go ahead and click show in folder it's gonna open up like this now in mine it looks a little bit different so I'm just gonna go ahead and right click and open it the way it would look on yours so if you double click on yours it's gonna look like this just like so so make sure you double click right after you double click you'll see the lesson three week three transitions folder and that's the folder that you're going to drag over into your documents now when you drag it over into your documents and you click here you should see lesson three week three transitions you should also see lesson two week two adding audio lesson one week two learning Adobe Premiere Pro right so this is the, the folder that we need now when you open up Adobe Premiere you're gonna go ahead and click new project right new project we're gonna title this lesson 03 transitions right and then from here we're gonna make sure that we have the correct folder so you notice right now currently it says documents Adobe Premiere Pro 22 that's not correct so we're going to go ahead and go to browse. We're going to click documents right here. Lesson three transitions right here. You see that? So lesson three transitions and then the project folder. Do not forget to click on that project folder Then click select. Then you can go ahead and click. OK. Now, if you want to double check if you did this correctly, you can go ahead and go up here to the top and you should see lesson three week three transitions project lesson three transitions which is what we titled this right now some of you are in the updated version of Adobe Premiere so if you do not see the assembly editing color and stuff up here because uh, we do need to switch to editing you can actually just click right here uh, you'll have like a little button and that button will allow you to choose your your workspaces so we want to go ahead and switch over to our editing if you're not already there now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and remove my webcam because you will need all the visual elements. So I'm still going to be here. You just won't be able to see me anymore. All right. So for this one, we need to import our media. So double click. We're going to head over to documents and we're going to go to lesson one, week two. We're going to select our videos and put import folder. Now we're going to double click in here, head back into this one then back one more lesson two we're going to select our audio right here import folder so that's our video and that's our audio now for transitions luckily we don't need any other folder this is all we need here so I'm going to switch over into my list view this is going to allow me to uh, kind of open these little tabs up as I need and I'm going to grab a video really quick and just drag it over over here so I can grab the settings. So we recorded at 24 FPS. Uh, some of these are recorded at 30. Um, but we're gonna switch with the, we're gonna stick with the 24 FPS. And then I'm just gonna click here and title this. You notice this is the only one with the different icon versus all the other ones. So we're gonna click here, just click it once, and then title it lesson 03 transitions. Perfect. And now we have it titled Lesson 03 Transitions. We can now select this video and delete it, right? Now from here, again, all we need to do is select parts of the video that we want to keep. All right, now I'm gonna be showing you all a little trick here so that you don't drag audio. So let me turn this on because I feel like it's better if you all can see me. So for this little part, we don't want to drag the audio in here. We only want to drag the video. So with that being said, there is a little icon right here that shows a video clip and an audio clip. So if you drag the video clip, it only drags the video and you want to keep existing settings right there. 
And if you drag this one, it only drags the audio separate, which is pretty convenient for what we're doing today. Uh, but we do not want this, so we're going to go ahead and delete that. I'm actually going to not start with that video. I'll start with something else because I want to give you guys like a pretty good transitional clip. So let's go here. I'm debating here on what I want to keep, keep, but ooh, that's 10 seconds long. Ah, that's pretty good. All right, and keep existing settings. Now, again, we want to do about like maybe six of these videos and so we have another clip right here that one's perfect and then there and let's bring this in here perfect so all we're doing is bringing in the videos right coming in here see what's in here right there boom Right around there and we'll bring this in here all right so we're already at our 30 second mark so we're actually gonna make some of these clips just a little bit smaller put those in here something like that and so it's a good way of adjusting the clips if you put that here and let this come all the way over here and kind of do this a little bit all right cool so we got our clips so now what we want to do is go ahead and minimize this and we're going to bring our audio. This is our audio and we just want the audio clip right here. Now in order for us to get audio that kind of like fades out, we need to first of all grab our little razor tool right here. The little razor tool allows us to chop up things anywhere that we want, just like so. And so what we want to do is chop it up right here. We're going to select this and just delete everything. Bam. There we go. So now we don't have any audio, no video, nothing like that. So now that we have them organized in the way that we want, and it's playing with the music. All right, perfect. So that looks pretty good. Now we want to add our transitions. So if you haven't already thought about this, yes, you guessed it. We go into our effects panel. Right, and again, I'm going to remove my webcam so you guys can get a better view of everything. Bam, there we go. All right, so under our effects panel, we now have access to all of this stuff right here. First and foremost, we're going to go into the search. So under video transitions, you have a lot of stuff to choose from, right? But because we already know these, you'll use this all the time. You'll search for dip and there is dip to black. You always want to start off your video with a dip to black at the beginning and a dip to black at the very end. So what that does is the video is black and it fades into a video. There you go. You see how that looks? And then right here, and it fades into the black, right? Now the other thing that we need to do is under audio effects or audio transitions, we have crossfade, constant power, and exponential fade. So these two are the ones I use the most. Now, if you use constant power, let's show you how that looks like. The video, the audio kind of fades out. And then if you click on that little yellow area right here, you turn it gray and you can press delete on your keyboard and then exponential fade. And they both do kind of the same thing. Right? So I'm going to leave it at, as exponential fade and I'm going to move my timeline right around there. That's going to allow me to zoom in into that particular area using my zoom in uh, tool down here at the bottom. So this is going to allow me to zoom in just like so. And now what I want to do to the exponential fade is as I click it, you know, it's yellow and I click it and it turns gray. I can then move it until I see those little red markers. I can click and drag so I can make that a little bit longer and then zoom out. That will allow me to have the exponential fade just kind of fade um, a little bit slower. And we get that cool exiting transition, right? So that's what we want. So now we have a really nice fade out at the end of the video. 
and we have a nice dip to black and dip to black. But what about the videos here in the center, right? Well, for that, we can actually just go into our video transitions. And here's where you all can essentially do whatever you'd like with them. Um, you can do dissolves and just do like a cross dissolve right here. And so when you drag it, let me actually zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. But when you drag it, you want to try to get it to drag right in between the two clips, just like so. Just like that, you can put a cross dissolve, you can put a iris diamond. Um, a lot of these we never use, but this is good for you all to just kind of play around with and see what each one of them does. So cross dissolve. Right, and that looks pretty good. Now, what if I wanted to um, add some titles, but I want to have a little bit of extra time, right? And I've already put everything in here, so how can I do that? Well, you can do it by selecting your audio, right? And then looking for that red little marker, and you can extend that just a little bit more. So now the music. will fade out all the way over here. And now if I click anywhere where there's gray and I do something like this, I can make a box which allows me to select multiple items. I can move this here just like so and then click and move all of them at the same time. Now here, all I wanna do is move my cursor over here, grab my letter T and then just simply click here and put life no, mm, the fish life, right? And when I select this, right, maybe my font is kind of ugly or I don't really like the way it looks like or any of those cases, right? I can actually close all this up and click right here on effects and that'll close it. And you can actually see here essential graphics. And Although this may seem very confusing, this is just a bunch of text editing tools, right? So right here under text, you can see that you can choose your font. So you can just kind of click and select whatever font you want. That's why oh, I just put the fist life, the fish life. There we go. Fish life, maybe. There we go. That's cool. Um, you can also say like, hey, I want the color to be kind of pink or something. Uh, you have to highlight it first, right? come here let's do like a little bluish bluish color right you can also say hey I want a stroke and I want the stroke to be white but I want it to be even bigger so I can type here 5.0 oh I forgot you have to highlight it there we go and put 5.0 there we go so now it has like that little stroke if you wanted to right and notice there's a gap right here so all I did was for that gap, if I zoom in, I can just bring it in and do that. However, maybe I don't want it to and I want that gap there, right? Because I'm going to go back to my effects and I'm going to go into my video transitions. And here I can play around with the dissolves. Like let's say, for example, what is a dip to black do at the beginning? So dip fish life. Maybe I can add a dip to black at the end as well. Make it a little bit longer, just like so. Fish life. There we go. Pretty interesting, right? So now we'll come over here and do the same thing. Go here, grab the letter T, and just put thanks for watching. But what if I don't want it blue anymore? So we can click on our effects, open up our essential graphics, click here put white I don't want a stroke I want a different font something like that and then using my selection tool I want to move it there we go that looks pretty cool and then I can move this closer there make it short 
go to my effects dip to black right there dip to black right there make it a little bit longer also I noticed that I kind of messed up so I'm gonna move it this way and then add dip to black right there and then bring it in just like so and extend it there we go and there you go so now we have a pretty good little clip right here that is a little bit longer than 60 seconds right uh, so this is about 40 seconds but it has some titles some transitions the audio kind of fades out and this is just pretty simple basic stuff so if you guys have any questions just please let me know and if not let's get to the next process which is the exporting so remember we have to make sure that our blue box you see how I'm moving my blue box around my blue box is here selected if it makes you feel better just go to the very end of the video and put mark out that'll create a mark in and out area so you don't export anything you don't need and then you can just go to file export export media now right here again if you're in AVI please switch that over to H.264 we want to keep this under 500 and then right here on the blue letters we're just going to click lesson 3 go to documents lesson 3 transitions and just right here in this empty spot save it and click export so now when I head over to my folders let me go ahead and open up my folders documents lesson 3 transitions and there you go that's the video that we want it's an mp4 file and you can go ahead and turn that in into Schoology thank you guys for watching and as always everyone it's been a pleasure I'll see you in the next one peace